Honestly, this is so sad. This is Timmy Tokwe and welcome to my channel. I came across this video and I said, you know what? I need to do a video on this. Very sad that people actually do this to other people. And um, my heart was just so broken when I, you know, saw the video. Okay. So I'm just going to let you watch it. Um, it's about this uh, YouTuber called Peach mcintyre she has a youtube channel a very very successful youtube channel she has you know a very beautiful family has about seven kids with her husband and she's doing pretty well and i've you know seen a lot of her videos and she's doing pretty well and can you believe that people are going out or going all the way to lie on her calling uh, CPS on her. Now, CPS is Child Protective Services in the U.S. And so they'll go ahead and call this, um, the CPS and lie on her that she is, you know, you know allegedly um, abusing her kids or this or that. And it is so heartbreaking. And, you know, the part that really got to me when she broke down, she became emotional. I'm like, why would people do this to all the people for no reason, making false allegations? Now, that is so wicked and so sad that people would do this. And I think I'm going to do this in a video, a separate video. And I've actually personally experienced people lying on me, not to, you know, CPS or Child Protective Services, but at a job. I think I'm just going gonna to do a video on that as well. It is so sad, really sad. Watch the video. So, Peach Patch, I'm going to assume this is for me. This is for me, right? Hi, I'm good. Are we talking over here outside the street? Sure. How's your day going? Phenomenal. It would be better if I could handle this with y'all not coming to my house. Okay. So, uh, obviously, there is a is to assist my partner here uh -huh. in her investigation as well as ours. Uh -huh. okay? So all we ask is that we can speak with you, speak with the children, mm -hmm. and we can get out of here. Okay, do you have a warrant? We don't have a warrant. No. Okay, go get a warrant. We don't need a warrant. You don't need a warrant to speak, see my kids and speak with my kids? I was told something completely different. We're just doing an investigation. I was told you need a warrant to see my children and all of that stuff like this is ridiculous they come to my house now on a weekly on a weekly basis there's no signs of abuse there's no signs of neglect we're continuing to go through this we're being harassed there's people on youtube actually telling people to call cps on us y'all are aware of that i've taken drug tests i don't do drugs of any kind my children aren't being neglected so i don't understand what's the report this time well we can discuss that with you but if you're not going to be cooperative, what I'm trying to help you is obviously you don't want us here, right? No, I'm you sick know. of it. Okay. I, I, I cooperate agree. every time and then they still come back again. I completely understand. I wouldn't want cops and DCF in my house, okay? Mm -hmm. However, this isn't going to go away until we can speak to you and your children and conduct a formal investigation, okay? So if you'd like this to go away, it's not going to take a whole lot of time, okay? I need to put eyes on who's ever listening to the report. I need mm -hmm. to speak with them. I need to speak with you. And okay, so let me hear the report this time because they was just here yesterday. Go ahead. Um, the report is involving sexual abuse against Gregory and George's. Okay. And who sexual abuse between my oldest child? You said my oldest child is abusing my youngest child. Nope. You and the father are abusing them. Me and the daddy are abusing our kids sexually. Gregory and George's. My husband and our daughter. Or my husband and I are sexually abusing my oldest child and my youngest and my only daughter. Okay, come on. She's, she's just a messenger. I, I, I understand it. Like, I, un I understand. I'm not, I'm not upset. I understand that I yelled, that I cursed. No, I'm, I'm just explaining. I understand. A lot of times people take it personally. I'm not taking it personally. I understand. I understand. We can go to my backyard. My kids are outside. I appreciate it. You want to Yeah, so there was a point in the video where she broke down and she became very emotional. You can hear her voice cracking and uh, it just showed that she was getting really emotional and she was just so pained at how um you know the people can just be so wicked and so uh, mean calling cps on her for no reason lying and making false allegations and my question is this what happens to those people 
who, who are the ones who are lying those who are making false allegations what happens to those do you just go by or just go scot-free like that without facing any consequences okay you know i mean it is so sad that people will just just call randomly and just feel they can just call and just make your life a living hell and you know how devastating it could be they can take your kids away now who wants that who wants their kids taken away who wants that and she's doing all her best as a mom to take good care of her kids she's doing her best to be a good mom and this is what she gets this just shows how terrible some people can be people hating you so much you just wonder for no reason just because you're living your life you just can't stand the fact that you're living your life unapologetically and happy this is so sad i just pray and hope that whoever keeps doing this to her stops it okay and maybe there can be some kind of consequences or repercussions for the people that are doing this to her it's so sad it's very very sad indeed